You are listening to the Shoto, Brady, and Dunn Sermon Audio. We would love for you to join us live and in person any Sunday. You can watch the sermon video on Sunday afternoons through our Facebook page or at our website, umshoto.net. If you love what we're doing here, you can donate to our ministries at umshoto.net. Thanks for joining us wherever you are. Wave them! Hosanna! 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 Good morning, and welcome to Digital Worship. So happy to have us from wherever you are, and truly whenever you are, wherever this finds you this week, I pray that you find God's presence in that place and know that you gathered in community and worship with a whole bunch of people. Those that you may know and those that you may never know. And what a beautiful opportunity opportunity this is. As hard as it is to have to be home, to be quarantined, for those of you who have lost jobs, who are worried about it, who are on the verge of not knowing what is next, our hearts go out to you in these moments as we come together to be the church on this Palm Sunday, on a day in which we traditionally raise palms and wave them, celebrate and sing Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. May you find ways to celebrate that this morning. Go out on your sidewalk six feet apart from one another and startle your neighbors a little bit with Hosanna. Wave plant branches in your home, whatever you need today to celebrate. I invite you to do that, knowing that this is a joyous day, but knowing that it's the beginning of Holy Week. A Holy Week different than any other than any of us has experienced. But know that we do, we celebrate, we come together and worship, that we do this Holy Week together, wherever we are, in the presence of God. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving God, we come to you this morning simply thankful that we get to gather and that we have an opportunity to continue to worship in this very uncertain time. For friends and family and strangers, we pray. Those who are worried about jobs, worried about where the next meal is going to come from. For those who are worried about health, For those who are still going into work as nurses and essential employees to keep our communities, our towns, and everything running. God, we pray that your grace and peace be over them in these moments. May they find rest. May we find rest knowing that your spirit abounds between us. That wherever we are, we are connected by you, that you are calling each of us into community, into your love and grace. And this morning, as we celebrate together, as we sing Hosanna, may we find your presence wherever we are. God, we simply pray in these moments, in these uncertain times, that we see your love and grace now more than ever as we journey through this holy week together, as we live the fullness of Christ's life and death and resurrection. May we find hope. May we find hope. May we find hope in all of this today. We pray these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, our 
two scriptures today. The first one is John chapter 12, verses 12 through 15. The next day, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him. They shouted, Hosanna, blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on your king of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written. Don't be afraid, daughter Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. The second scripture today is John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 6. The way, the truth, and the life. Don't be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. My father's house has room to spare. If that weren't the case, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When I go to prepare a place for you, I will return and take you to be with me, so that... Where I am, you will be too. You know the way to the place, and I am going. Thomas asked, Lord, we don't know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you have really known me, you also know the Father. From now on, you know him, and you have seen him. Throughout this Lenten season, we have been in a sermon series going through the I Am sayings of Jesus. And this is the sixth Sunday of Lent. I know it feels like the sixth month of Lent, but I can assure you that it is April 5th, 2020. And today is Palm Sunday. Throughout this Lenten season, throughout this sermon series, we have heard Christ call for us to live. To see the world through Christ's light. To know that Christ is the bread of life. To know that God's love and grace is for all people. Through the voice of the Good Shepherd. And last week, last week we took a look at the I am saying, uh, of Jesus saying, I am the true vine. And when we took a look inwards in, our, in ourselves, and the fruit that we are bearing. And I hope, I hope that we are taking the time as we're staying home and staying away, taking the opportunity to look deep within, to look at the fruit that we are personally bearing, 
the fruit that is no longer healthy and good, the branches in our lives that no longer produce fruit. I hope we were taking the time to prune those back, to make room for the good fruit that God is calling us to, to flourish. But today, we continue on in this sermon series and these I Am sayings as we wave palm branches and shout, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We praise Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem, signifying the beginning of Holy Week, the journey to the cross, the fulfillment of life and death, and ultimately resurrection of Christ. We come today in the midst of fanfare and celebration, excitement, also with a little bit of doubt and contentment all mixed in. There's the fullness of emotions on this day of Palm Sunday. Here again from the Gospel of John, chapter 12. The next day, the crowd, the great crowd that had come for the festival, heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him. They shouted, Hosanna, blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on the king of Israel. They found a young donkey, and Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it was written. Don't be afraid, daughter Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Jesus enters Jerusalem with all that makes him human and divine. Knowing that this time, this time in his life would bring, what it would bring, with the next few days held for him, knowing the cost and knowing that in these moments found throughout Holy Week, you and I see that Jesus will fulfill the fullness of this life and death and resurrection. It is during Holy Week that when Jesus enters Jerusalem that we find him answering questions from religious leaders, from Gentiles, from Jews, from all people. He's around preaching and teaching. And it's at this point in John's gospel that Jesus has foretold his death and his resurrection. It's at this point that the disciples are beginning to catch on, that there's something going on here, there's something more. They begin to catch on that maybe this isn't going to end like they thought. And there's this really quick, drastic transition from this celebration of Hosanna, Hosanna, to what is really going on. And they begin to ask, how do we do this without Jesus? That reality begins to set in very quickly for the disciples during this holy week. And that is where we find Jesus today. It's after the fanfare, it's after the pomp and circumstance, it's after the singing and shouting and waving of branches that we find Jesus today reassuring the disciples and those around him. Here from the Gospel of John, just a couple of chapters later in chapter 14, he says, don't be troubled, trust in God, trust in me also. My father's house has room to spare. If that weren't the case, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When I go to prepare a place for you, I will return and take you with me, so that where I am, you will be too. You know the way to the place I'm going. Jesus is simply reassuring the disciples, don't worry. Have trust. Trust God. Trust me. I'm going to go before you. And I'll come back. I'll come back so that I can take you with me. Jesus again is speaking to this fulfillment of life and death and resurrection. And then directly after Jesus says this, Thomas, yes, that Thomas, the Thomas that in a, in a few days' time will get his really undue nickname. He'll be labeled a doubter which for me is one of the most human things that you and I have. Something that I, I think we honestly should celebrate. The realness of who Thomas is, wanting to know more. 
that in doubt there is an honest question, that in doubt there is faith. That Thomas goes on to ask this question here in verse 5. Thomas asked, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus, we want to know where you're going. How, you said we're going to know where it is and how to get there, but how? Tell me more. I want to know more. Show me the way, is what Thomas is asking. Where are we going? What are we doing? He wants to know the answer to these questions. And I have found myself in a similar predicament, in a similar conversation with God. I don't know about you, but the times that I have come face to face, face, to face with God in my life, I have found myself asking, where are we going? How are we going to get there? Are you sure? Are you sure that's where you want me to go? No, God, I don't want you to stop this car and turn around. No, I don't want you to ask for directions. I trust you. We continue on in verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you have really known me, you will also know the Father. From now on, you know him and have seen him. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. See, these three claims are significant for all who hear them. Jesus is saying, follow me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Jesus has pinpointed these three significant areas of faith, of life, of humanity, the way, the truth, and the life. It is through the way, the truth, and the life that these are the questions that many people ask themselves that you and I ask ourselves throughout this life. What is the way? What is the truth? What is life? We begin to ask ourselves these questions in regards to God, and we begin to see these, answer, these questions answered in the life of Christ throughout the Gospels. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says it for a couple of reasons. Jesus is pointing back to the fullness of the I am sayings, pointing back into the Old Testament when, when God tells Moses, tell him I am. But not only is he saying, I am, he is saying, I am the way. I am the truth and I am the life. Which captures this path to God. It's a way to God. Which captures the truth of God's love and grace. And it lives into this life. This call to live life just as Jesus has. This I am saying of Christ I am the way, the truth, and the life. For me, for me, it embodies this Lenten season. See, Lent, of course, is this time in which we take this step back. We slow down. We fast. We give up. We sacrifice. We, we take on. We make room. We recenter and we reconnect with God. And, and this Lent, more than any other Lent that at least for me, I can remember, I didn't plan on giving up this much for Lent. I don't know about you, but we have this opportunity to embody Lent during this time of fear, during this time of pandemic, during this time of uncertainty. We have the chance, the opportunity to fully embody this Lenten season and slow down and give up and reconnect and refuel and renew all that we have with God. It's during this season that we connect with God in, in a way that we connect with God at the heart of things. We connect to the truth that Christ's love and grace is for all people and has always been for all people. And we begin to remember that call to live. We remember and we feel and we shed the burden that life has. The things that we have taken on that no longer bear fruit but only weigh us down. It's this call to a life that moves us closer to God. 
closer to one another, closer to ourselves, and closer to living into the fullness of Christ's love and grace for each of us. And so for me, for me when I read this scripture of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, I see these words played out. I see Jesus fully embodying and living out, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I see that in these moments as I read scripture. I see that as I I know the rest of the story. I've read the gospels we all have where Jesus goes from this place and then goes into Jerusalem, turns over tables, preaches and teaches, is accused, washes the disciples' feet, is betrayed, arrested, put on trial, beaten, hung on a cross, buried in a tomb. And then on Sunday morning, On Sunday morning, we have the rest. We have the resurrection. We have the life. We have hope. And so when I read the story of Jesus entering into the city on a donkey, and I read these stories of him saying, I am, I feel the heaviness of those statements. I feel the hope in those statements. I feel the love and grace in those statements. And when I hear Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life, I hear this call to go and live into that. To follow the path in which Jesus walked. The way to God. To live into the truth that Jesus lived, preached, and taught. His love and grace is for all people. And in this time where we're required to be home, where we're having to connect in different ways, where it seems as life as we know it is over and will never be the same, that is true. Life as we know it will never be the same. But what does remain is the truth when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. On this Palm Sunday, on this great day of joy and celebration, with an underlying heaviness, let us remember that this too shall pass, that it is hard, but on the other end of this is resurrection. On the other end of this is life. And we hear that call today. I am the way, the truth, and the life. How are you living that out today? How are your actions living into this? How are you living into the words that Jesus teaches? Does love and grace, does love and grace flow from you? Are you alive? Or are we just waiting? under the heaviness of this world. And so I pray that we continue to hear these words of Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I've gone to prepare a place. I'm coming back for you. Let us find hope in the fullness of life and death and resurrection this holy week. We pray these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I danced in the morning when the world was begun, and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced on earth. At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he I danced
dance for the scribe and the Pharisee, but they would not dance and they would not follow me. I dance for the fishermen, for James and John. They came to me and the dance went on. With the devil on your back They buried my body And they thought I'd gone But I am the dance And I still go on Dance then Wherever you may be I am the lord Of the dance and he And I'll lead you all Wherever you may be And I'll lead you all In the dance and he They cut me Church, go from this place, shouting Hosanna, celebrating what this digital Palm Sunday brings. Wherever you find yourself, however you find yourself, go from this place knowing that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Let us live into that. Let us find the way. Let us know the truth, and let us live in God's love and grace in each and every moment that we have. Let us journey together this holy week. Let us find the presence of God in the many ways that we can. Let us reconnect with ourselves and one another, and let us celebrate fully the life, the death, and the resurrection of Christ this week. Go in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. You are listening to the Shoto, Brady, and Dunn Sermon Audio. We would love for you to join us live and in person any Sunday. You can watch the sermon video on Sunday afternoons through our Facebook page or at our website, umshoto.net. If you love what we're doing here, you can donate to our ministries at umshoto.net. Thanks for joining us wherever you are.